Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So this video is regarding the interview experience at Airtel Africa that I had uh, interviewed recently. So in this video, we will discuss what are the interview questions that, that they asked me and what are the topics that you should uh, prepare before attending an interview in front end development or in using Angular as well. Okay, so I have like listed out all the questions. So let's discuss them one by one. <coughs> yeah. So here it is. Uh, so like every other uh, interviews uh, here, like they first asked me some HTML questions and then some JavaScript and then CSS and also then some Angular questions. So uh, these are the, like uh, some uh, questions that I thought you should be prepared uh, prepare on and also except this there were some other basic questions I have not noted them okay so in the in, in the process of this video if I recall them I will also like uh, say you that so that you can prepare that aspect as well yeah. <clears throat> and also I have like listed some questions I will also like show you that and uh, how that works okay so first uh, the question was like uh, what is html5 and how it is different from html so the question uh, the answer uh, should be like this like html5 is some like a new version of html and uh, when it came up you can say that and also along with it you can add the new tags that you are getting the new schematic test tags that you are getting with this html5 which is like we have the main tag we have the dead picker we have the like time picker we have like a uh, so so much of uh, so much of things like a side tag and many new tags are there are in this html5 so you can say all about that and how you can know from html5 if it is built on html5 so uh, you can also there say that we have that doc type html thing there okay so this will uh, <coughs> the, uh, these all covers the first questions of this html5 then what is the use of main tag in html in html5 we have a tag main tag okay like this main and you can add some content here this is the main tag okay so what happens is in this main tag if in a page or in a particular web page if there is some content in the inside this main tag so we are saying that this content is specific to this page only okay like like from this page these are the summary these are the important content contents and these contents are specific to this page only so that the search engine or uh, can like focus on this part of the content that this is the okay from this page this is the important part of the content okay so that's what it is <coughs> and then coming to HTML local storage so in, so in case of local storage that you can say about the local storage and like a session storage and they will definitely ask you the difference between them so I believe you are already pretty good at that if you don't know yet what is the difference between a local storage and a session storage I would recommend you to check that out because that's a very commonly asked interview questions okay then uh, coming to the CS, uh, JavaScript part, what is hoisting? You know, hoisting and closure are, are such concepts, such concepts that each and every interviewer asks you in front end development. Okay, so uh, actually, there are like a couple of uh, like many tons of videos regarding hoisting and closure on the on YouTube and also in if you'll Google, you will get to get a lot of articles. That's the reason I haven't yet explained that topic or I haven't made any video on that. But uh, if you are having any problem understanding that, uh, please do comment and let me know. I will explain them in a very, very simple way that anyone can understand. But if uh, you can understand from other video, I believe you, if you, uh, you, you can understand that. Uh, so that's the reason I haven't made any separate video on that. But I can, if you want, do it, do comment me, I'll do that. Okay. So you, you can uh, say what is hoisting and you can uh, give them an example. And uh, uh, okay, so uh, with hoisting, they can add you the question of like uh, what is the uh, late, const, var and what is the difference between them so all these uh, kinds of questions they can add with the hosting 
then coming to the closure so they will also ask the questions about closure what is first of all what is a closure so, so a function along with its lexical scope forms a closure then how closure you, can, you have to give them an example okay so you can uh, be prepared on that as well so again for this also if you are not care, like uh, getting what is a, what is closure and uh, with proper examples or with some examples please do let me know in the comment section i'll make another video on that function carrying if you have some logic in the some function and you can carry that and you can like uh, use or borrow that logic and use in some other places in such kind of scenario we have a concept of function carrying so like uh, this wasting closure carrying so there can be separate videos on that so that's the reason I'm not explaining them here so that uh, this video will not uh, like stretch and this video will be like specific to the uh, the questions that were asked in the this particular interview in this Airtel Africa okay so again uh, another question was there uh, like what is the difference between let const bar and read only okay so here also you you, uh, uh, you can answer regarding the hosting part okay so that, that part will come here so that's the all from javascript <coughs> and then they ask about positions in css like uh, what are the position elements present in css so you can say like uh, we have position absolute sticky relative uh, fixed all this and what is the use of sticky okay so in, in sticky what happens is you can specify that uh, 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 till how many uh, how uh, many scroll or uh, time uh, or uh, like length so it should be sticky and then it should scroll along with the content so those are the use of it then how to write mixins? So what is a mixin first? <coughs> if you have like maybe four classes in CSS and these four classes they are some common properties. Maybe all four classes have the same background color but every other properties are different. Okay. So in this kind of scenario what happens is we write four classes and we write four times the background color or maybe background color and border radius are same. We write those two things repeatedly at four places. But mixin solves this issue. So what happens is you can create a mixin for, for the, uh, the common properties okay and you can import that to all the classes okay and the syntax is like i add the mixins and then you can write a mixins okay so you can check more on this on the internet or I'll, I'll, i can make a video if required then many bits of using scss so you know like scss is a preprocessor like uh, on css we have preprocessor like scss ss less all these things so so what are the benefits of using scss we can say about like uh, variables uh, and uh, functions in css importing them and all these things you can also mention there how to write mixins i already discussed how to write mixins okay and then uh, coming to angular first uh, like uh, the uh, first question was maybe uh, I, that i have not listed here what how a angular application works uh, okay so the first question was how a angular application works so in that case you, you can say that uh, the <coughs> whole bootstrapping process like uh, uh, the process happens from angular json and uh, it goes to the main.ts and then it goes to the app model all these process you can mention them and then that the next question was for me what is angular virtual scroll and how you can implement it so for this concept so actually i have opened a link to show you how the thing works okay let me show you okay <clears throat> see first of all uh, let me give you an uh, example like uh, what are the use case okay so maybe inside a ng4 okay so you have like uh, some uh, something uh, numbers maybe some list items LIS, that you are showing one two three four five like this up to let's say twenty thousand so you have twenty thousand allies on the page the list items and when you are like uh, you cannot see 20,000 elements on one page, right? In this page, you cannot see 20,000. You have to scroll down. And maybe at one time, you are saying only 50. But in DOM, there are 20,000. They are making the DOM very heavy. Correct? But we don't need to show that. So in this kind of scenario, to make the DOM lighter or to improve the performance of regular application, we can implement virtual scrolling. Okay, let me show you how this works. First of all, let me show you this. See, in, in this, if you see this image, see, if they'll scroll 557 to 561, only 
two so that are there if you're scrolling much the others are getting disappeared they are not there in the term okay uh let's see this one more time see nine eights it starts from nine eight six you're not from zero it started from zero if this is zero is scrolling down the top things are disappearing so the dom is not heavy the dom will only contain some elements that 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 should show here okay so that is the like uh idea of the this uh, virtual scrolling thing okay so how we implement it so this is also pretty simple and provided uh, so this feature came to angular from angular 7 okay uh, so and uh, it's available since then so in the app module or the ts we can import this scrolling module from angular CDK scrolling okay and then uh, here they are generating maybe uh, 10,000 items and then they are uh, showing, uh, showing that in the list item but there is a parent for what CDK virtual scroll viewport so we, we should mention the viewport like what should be the height of that uh, uh, screen that we should show items and how, what should be the item count and then you, you can uh, do that in CDK virtual for instead of your ng for okay so that's what this is the styling nothing else okay that was the very important and good topic and then you can mention angular life cycle hooks that we have ng to check ng on changes uh, ng on edit and uh, up to ng on destroy and then you the use of ng on destroy memory links so uh, when ng on destroy calls and ng on destroy calls when the component's life cycle ends or the, when the component is not seen in the screen then what we, first of all and also angular memory leak uh, i can also make another separate video on it on angular memory leaks so for like brief idea uh, i should say that uh, when a component works on or initializes so there is so there are many variables and um, uh, um, arrays that gets memory space okay but when the component dies when the life cycle ends that the things are not disposal like uh, we, we are not disposing the memories for that variables and all so those things like if we have some unused memory present in our angular application uh, so that those things are called as the memory leaks and using the on destroy we can know that when the component died and then we can do a set of actions to like to, to fix that memory leaks so those concepts also comes under this so that was the a very uh, like a high level uh, questions idea what was the questions uh, that was that was being asked okay but uh, there is one more program that i want to show you that was asked to me okay <coughs> so this is the question okay so first uh, they asked me like if this is the currently the, the program okay so what is the output of this program uh, that like what will a print in the console so in this kind of scenario <coughs> what happens is like first of all var a equals to 5 so uh, first uh, <coughs> wasting takes place a gets a value of undefined before the function execution happens and when the function ex execution happens or the uh, file execution happens a gets a memory of 5 okay so currently for a we have a memory we have the value of 5 <coughs> and here we are printing a but before that something else is going on what is that this let's understand so first of all this is the if -E. what is if if -E? -E is a immediately invoked function in javascript and this index looks like this okay and inside this ep so what we can do is in the first we can pass a function and this is the function we are passing and what is the speciality of this ep function that the speciality is when this control comes here it will get executed no one needs to call this function okay so here what will happen is this block will be executed and you know var is a func like a function scope variable okay and this is a like, function this is a function correct this is our function and there will be another instance of var will be created here which will hold a value of 6 but this is not the same a as this one okay because var is function scope this is a function scope and it will stay in this scope only so if you will print a here what will print it will print to 5 and then the interview question change the question a bit and ask me this what should be the output now so if the value a is 5 and now we are inside a block we are saying that a value equals to 8 what should be the output in this case what will happen is the output will be 8 why because this is not a function this is a block there's a difference between a function scope and a block scope the earlier one was a function scope that we are using inside if 
but this is a block scoped but there is not block scoped so this bar here will present represent point to this the member space of this a so that when you are writing var equals to 8 this bar a will be changed and if you print here this value will be printed as 8 okay so that's it uh, these are the interview questions uh, from airtel africa and they are also like uh, uh saying me how uh, the team their works and uh, their team's age and all and what they are building like uh from the recharge application and all uh for all the for the whole africa they are building building on, on, on top of angular so those are all the things if you are you are getting a chance to be to get interviewed on uh, at all uh africa so do let me know in the comment section so that maybe i can help you uh, personally uh and if you have any doubt or any questions please do comment them and please uh, subscribe the are the ui guy youtube channel so that's it for this uh, video thank you for staying connected bye bye